Se acabó. Memorial Day weekend. Where is the display supporting and showing homage to a men and women at the military? There's nothing. There's a couple of little made in China patriotic pieces of shit here. Where's that? Uh, last week was cop week. Did we put a display up support supporting our police? No, we didn't. Target. <clears throat> what about November? In November, do we get a uh, veterans display that says proud to be a veteran? No, we do not. Adrian, yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't need to scream. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just talk loud. Yeah. I hope that corporate is watching I just, this I just need to lower because I this lower is bullshit. No problem with the pride section. Take the kids out of it. That's what you have to do. Get rid of the kids' shit that doesn't belong in here. You cater to four, a 0.1%, and 99% of us buy this shit in this store, but that's coming to an end. Corporate better change their fucking ways. You're going to go down sir, like Budweiser. Sir, please, please, sir. Get the extra, sir. That's all right. You want to call the cops? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll be, I'll be doing whatever the fuck I want. Fucking bullshit. Shame on you people going in here. You people complain, but you're still shopping this fucking shit. Hey, hey. Time for a Rick Take. The... Woke economy versus the common sense economy. Let's jump in. LGBTQ activists warn corporate America, you need to be our ally. Oh, look at this sad display of bullshit. By the way, you aren't women with those fucking beards, you freaks. Good God. LGBTQ activists called for new campaigns Monday to warn corporate leaders not to heed opposing voices while chastening those who relent in the face of public pressure. The call to action follows Target's announcement last week. It removed products and relocated pride displays to the back of certain stores in response to public protests, as Breitbart News reported. AP reports California State Senator Scott Weiner. Democrat of San Francisco, a member of the LGBTQ Legislative Caucus, led the call for corporations to stand firm by pledging, we need a new strategy on how to deal with corporations that are experiencing enormous pressure to throw LGBTQ people under the bus. We need to send a clear message to corporate America that if you're our ally, if you are truly our ally, you need to be our ally, not just when it's easy, but also when it's hard. Ah, oh, shut up. You, you're not, you, you, you're trying to sound like JFK there, but you, you, you don't sound like him, okay? You, you just sound like, I'm just going to say it, a fucking queermo, okay? You just sound like a fucking queermo. There is going to come a point when there is a big split in the economy. There are going to be those that sit in the corporate power structure that are like, oh, we must virtue signal. Then there are going to be others that see, oh, it affects their fucking wallet. So we're not going to do that harebrained stupid shit that people like Target and fucking Budweiser have done because we like money. We, we want to earn money. They obviously don't want to earn money, so they are losing it hand over fucking fist. Anyways... Target is just one corporate entity to have fallen under continued criticism over the past several weeks due to its overt promotion of woke gender ideology and the LGBTQ agenda. Despite the fact those who identify as such make up a very small percentage of the United States population. Truth. Customers voted with their feet and their wallets and simply ignored the Target outlets across the country. I personally haven't shopped at one of those places in a long fucking time. And I really like their fucking popcorn. But you won't see me going back for their popcorn because they decide to have t-shirts that say Satan it respects pronouns. The fuck is that shit? That needs to be fucking burned. 
Anyways, as Breitbart News reported, Target shareholders subsequently lost $9 billion in stock market value after the embrace of the LGBTQ agenda, which includes advocacy for transgenderism. I honestly don't think it's because of the LGBTQ shit. I honestly think it's because of the fucking rampant Satanism that Target has decided to put on full display. To, to be completely fair... <clears throat> but that's, I guess, a digression. Hopefully, one of these outlets decides to cover that as opposed to this shit. Um, anyhow, concerns remain about the impact of Target's pride displays on children, said Victoria Cobb, president of the Family Foundation of Virginia, a conservative, faith-based organization in Richmond. Target is paying the price for telling kids to be discontent with their bodies, putting ideology ahead of their ahead of the interests of investors, and creating a hostile store environment for parents with children. And ain't that the fucking truth? Uh, Cobb said in a statement seen by AP. Bud Light is also still dealing with fallout from its partnership with transgender influence Dylan Mulvaney, who in April posted a picture on Instagram of a beer can with his face on it. Fucking disgusting. Uh, in response to the backlash and nationwide boycott from customers that followed, the company said it never intended to be part of the discussion that divides people. Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, is tripling its U.S. marketing spending this summer as it tries to restore lost sales directly attributed to the now-abandoned campaign. You don't fucking say. Well... I do apologize for those that are normally are looking for my videos uh, anywhere between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. I had a very jam-packed Memorial Day weekend where I spent a good portion of it stuck in Twitter spaces, which is ironic considering I had a whole segment last week on Friday specifically about how social media is, a, is an AIDS burger, which I still stand by that, but... I will also say, when you get into a really awesome space where there's just a really cool vibe, that shit's like crack, and you just have to keep listening. Well, anyways, um, yeah, Target, you really dropped the fucking ball, you shouldn't have, uh, decided to embrace this bullshit, because now your wallet is gonna friggin' feel it. And uh, none of us feel bad about that. In fact, we're watching with glee. And with that said, if you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It's how I know that you like the video and the content. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. That way, every time I post one of these videos, you get notified. Uh, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't give a shit. I do this for the fun of it. Hate watch it, hate share it, hate subscribe, and put on your dunce cap, go sit in a corner, and re yourself to, to, to yourself silently because uh, nobody fucking cares that you're reing silently over in the corner. Uh, with that, uh, happy Tuesday after Memorial Day, and uh, peace out. Hey, look, it's Lilith. Hey, do you guys support the satanic pride propaganda? I, I yeah, well, You support it? Satan you say, and pride. You support Satan? Mm -hmm. What's God gonna think of that? I don't believe in God. Don't, so you Did think- Did you need help with something? You support the propaganda that's targeting the kids? Uh, there's nothing targeting kids. All, it's all over kids' TV shows. It's all over, they're targeting kids the kids. Kids can choose to wear whatever they want. Do you support the sexualization of kids through pride propaganda by sir, corporate? Is there something that we can help you with? I'm just asking people questions. What about you, sir? Do you, do you support this? I'm not answering this? any questions, but if you're here to cause any disturbance in the store, I'm just asking questions. Do you yeah, work, do you work for the you're target? Disrupting, do you work yes, for target? I do, actually. Where's your name tag? I, I am the undercover loss prevention. Oh, okay. So. I'm just asking questions. So do you support this satanic propaganda? I'm not answering any questions. What you need to do is you either need to leave the store, God will judge you guys. Okay. I mean, you can't. You won't invite me. Also, is that our shirt? Yeah, it is. Are you going to purchase that shirt? Hey, ma'am, do you support this? 
What did yes, I just sir. say? You support pride propaganda? Stop, Whoa, I'm buying, buying this. I need you to, Whoa, let you go, man. You just said you're man. not buying it. I'm gonna buy it and burn it. Okay, that's your choice. What I said is you, need, you can't ask anybody any more questions. You can't just Freedom of speech. Questions. Call the police. Do you want me to call? Yeah, them? call them. Okay. Trespass me. I don't care, dude. <laughs> okay. Clearly. You think I care if you trespass? I've done this no, a thousand we times. Never, we never said that. You're, you guys are satanic. True. See, open satanic. That Open sa Satanist, guys. That's what we're going to get up against. It's open Satanist. Like, we're... Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Do you do you support pride? No. You can't disrupt any yeah, more guests. You need, you to, need to leave. Stop. Sir, do you support the satanic pride propaganda? Just, sir? He doesn't. No, he just doesn't care to talk to someone so hateful and judgmental. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm quite happy. Hey, excuse me. Do you guys support this? They do. Do you guys support the so propaganda? We, yeah. yeah. You do? Yeah. So you can please it's satanic, like, man. Please ignore it. Do you know what the real rainbow stands for? You can 